Hey everybody, it's Melly Playful, and for today's book suggestion, I've gone into what I guess I would call Melly's Book Vault, and pulled one out that I read a very long time ago. Um, it's Doc Holliday, and it's written by Matt Braun, and let me tell you, this author, he mostly writes about the American West, and he often takes, like, people that lived during that time period, and he brings them back to life in his novels, and that's exactly what he did with Doc Holliday. So, Dog Holiday became a household name with the release of the movie Tombstone. If you've not watched that movie, please do yourself a favor and watch it. It is so good. Um, Doc was played by Val Kilmore, and let me go ahead and tell you he was an instant fan favorite. Especially with the women. <laughs> but there's posters and books and all sorts of things that you can get with the Tombstone Dog Holiday. You can even get costumes and look like him and oh by the way there are Funko Pops of the Tombstone um, characters I don't really like calling them characters because they were real life people and yes I do have the Doc Holliday Funko Pops so that should tell you how big of a fan I am of the movie and of Doc Holliday but anyway there's so many things about this man that were like were not it, it wasn't in Tombstone I mean you can only put in so much in a movie so that's where we come to the book and so let me tell you a little bit about Doc. Um, I don't want to give too much away because, you know, it's, it'll be spoilers for you. So, and I really do want you to read this book. So Doc was born in the South and he was a real soft-spoken gentleman. He was a dentist by trade, but he enjoyed his gambling. And let me tell you, he was really good at gambling. He did have some tragedy that happened in his life and along with TB which is tuberculosis that was keeping him from breathing well in in the the south and a lot of times we're growing up we're like told so many times if you can't breathe good in the south move out west and that's exactly what he did and so when he goes out west he was literally living among some of the toughest roughest men on the frontier and word of him spread like wildfire because everyone heard he would not back down from a fight and he will always draw his gun first so you know people pretty much feared him he was a skilled gambler and one of the fastest gunslingers of his time honestly matt braun he takes us back to the wild west and into the life of one of the most famous gunslingers to ever live and one of the fastest gunslingers honestly this is a fictional book of course but the man was very real this book is so well written and honestly one of the best West westerns I've ever read. It's definitely on my most recommended list. Um, just to let y'all know, I don't read westerns that often. My dad does. And um, I took this from my dad's library when I was young and I read it. And I still to this day like remember that feeling I got when I was reading it. Like I wanted to know more. And it really opened me up to to literally going back and just studying all these people's lives and trying to look more into it because they, you know, they live so differently than we do now. We have all these luxuries that they did not have, but some of these people did a lot of things just to survive, and that's what you find out with Doc, like, and at the same time, like, he was really good at what he did, you know, so, um, I definitely recommend this book to anyone. It's an older book. You could probably definitely find it at a used bookstore. I think um, I lost my copy a long time ago and I recently bought one for two dollars at a used bookstore. And so I really hope that this will help you with your next selection of books to read and I thank you all so much for your support. I really look forward to hearing your thoughts of Dark Doc Holiday and also in the comments throw, throw me like some book suggestions like any lessons or anything that you think that I would like to read. I do read from all genres. And if you hear my dog snoring, I am so sorry. This is the quietest time of my, of my day or night that I can actually make this video. So thank you all so much, and I really appreciate you. I hope you have a wonderful day or night. Bye!